What's up, dude? What up? How are you? Tired. How was your day? Was it long? Very long. How are you feeling? You sore? Yeah, I'm a little sore. All right, cool. Give me the double horns. Look at me doing the double horns. All right, today is Wednesday, December the 5th, and today was Zach's first day on uh, the road to recovery, so to speak. Uh, went into Children's Hospital this morning, about 11-ish, and had what was called a Hickman line put into his chest, and tomorrow he goes into Children's again to start the long process of beam chemotherapy and then the bone marrow transplant. Currently right now we're at uh, the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance housing in downtown Seattle, which is not too far off of East Lake. Um, if you're familiar with the Seattle area, we're down near El Corazon, I-5, Danny Way, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to be here for the evening, and then tomorrow we go on up to Children's. And as you can see, Zach's just relaxing right now. He's playing a game called Brawlhalla. I have no idea what it is. I guess it's a good thing because he enjoys playing it all the time. Today was pretty much a long day. We get to Children's about 11 o'clock and then we have to wait around for a little bit just like anything else when there's surgery or procedures going on. So uh, he was told to be on uh, no liquid, no water, juices, any of that, or, or any type of food intake, as they call it, MPO, uh, starting at 4.30 this morning. And the last time he actually had anything to eat was last night at about 8.30. So Shortly after he had dinner last night, he went to bed and slept most of the night. Went up to Children's. Um, whenever he's on MPO, I do it with him, so that way uh, it's kind of like solidarity. I also, I think it's kind of silly when parents eat in front of their kids or drink in front of their kids, and their kids are like, oh my god, I'm so hungry, and the parents are like, sorry, and they're like, rah, 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 rah. so it's, I think it's uncool. So he went in, um, the procedure all together from start to finish took about three hours, about two and a half. Two and a half, three hours, got discharged, and we went out to Cactus out in Madison here in Seattle to uh, get a breakfast or <laughs> late lunch, early dinner, and uh, it was really good. So we're just going to be hanging out here for the evening, just taking it easy. Uh, we have to check in tomorrow morning at Children's Hospital. Cancer Care Ward on floor number seven at eight o'clock in the morning. So uh, all we're going to do tonight, like I said, is we're just going to relax. He's over there playing games. I'm going to uh, edit this vlog clip real quick tonight get that uploaded and uh, just start get started on some personal stuff that I've been putting off for entirely too long I know I promised an update yesterday sorry it didn't happen the last couple days have been pretty pretty hectic I know tomorrow it's gonna be a little it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for Zach for the next couple weeks but I know he'll get through it oh last night we stopped by uh, foster Brazilian jiu-jitsu was there on Sunday and forgot uh, one of my gorilla pods so I figured we'd go pick it up on the way home and let Zach go in there and talk to Coach James, James Foster that is. And a lot of our longtime training partners were there and they all got to say, see Zach and say hello to him and they were really excited that he's in remission right now and he's on his way to getting this all put behind him. So uh, my friend Jason bought my Metallica tickets. I hope he's enjoying the show tonight with his son Sam down in Portland. And uh, judging by my buddy Matt Walsh's photos from the Spokane show from a few nights ago, looks like we're missing a killer, killer show. But you know what? That's okay. Metallica will come back around. We'll go check them out next time. So, got anything to say, Zachary? No, just, uh, I think you're in there. All right, cool. Give me the horns. All right, cool. So, he's complaining, or he's not really complaining, but he's just stating that where they, they put in the Hickman, it's a little sore. That's, that was to be understood. The surgeon told him there was gonna be like a bruising or he got hit in the chest or something, but that Hickman line's pretty gnarly. It starts up here near his uh, pec muscle and goes all the way down to his belly button. Didn't think it was gonna be that long, but boy, whew, it's pretty long. So um, hopefully I'll post an update tomorrow night. If not, you'll definitely see some updates later in the week or during the weekend. So until next time, thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.